Hello YouTube and welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play for Civilization VI. I'm the Game Mechanic here with you as always, and today we have Congo for you. Congo is a very, very unique civ, a very powerful cultural civ in vanilla. Uh, he's still pretty darn good in this this uh, day and age. He has a river, sorry, not a river, but a woods and rainforest bias. We spawn next to some of those. Has a unique neighborhood, which really isn't that bad, even though I don't t typically like neighborhoods. But from Nikisi, we will get much, much value. Uh, and uh, and we'll see what we have here is some kind of middling like it's this is not this is not the greatest start I've ever seen in my life by any stretch of the imagination but we do have a lot of really interesting things going on with our land so far first off we see a very interesting this is a single continent so far uh, we see a very interesting like uh, defensive like mountain perimeter here so that can be pretty good on deity just to protect ourselves we of course have a geothermal fissure which is really interesting all of these mountains like this it, it's important to note that machu picchu is amazing with everybody uh but doubly so with a sieve that's like wants to build districts but doesn't necessarily build amazing districts as far as adjacency bonuses um and machu picchu will give us that flexibility so this could very well be a rush to machu picchu start something like that this is a great first scientist uh Euclid. Euclid. Um, wonder guy up, that guy up, nothing all that interesting. Um, but yeah, so this could be a rush to Machu Picchu game, which means we could go for a, an amazing campus. Uh, this is a plus four campus, one, two mountains, and then two for the geothermal fissure. There's a plus five one right here, although you'd have to chop the rainforest first. So that kind of puts you in a situation where, like, where do you where do you settle here, right? We have a, a, a nice valley of rivers, so we're looking for other spots, um, but uh, we, we want to know where we, where, where we should settle. Settling in place, I think, is a little bit weak. Uh, because it doesn't change the base the base yield of our city center here. Uh, and it starts us with fairly weak surrounding tiles. So for me, I would be interested in moving in most situations. So the first thing you want to do is move your warrior. We'll do that. Find another con continent right over here, which is quite good. Um, and then now we see we see the fresh water, the green here, the fresh water for uh, river settles running out over here. Now that could that could be fine. We could certainly aqueduct a city over here, but it also probably means I want to move away from this spot just so I can fit another city over here. Granted, it won't have really good opening tiles. Um, if we move over and settle the gypsum, we add in a food to the, the tile yield. So it becomes a 2-2-1 two, two, tile. And then we could work the science tile and, and work on our Machu Picchu rush, uh, which is sort of what we've talked about with chat here and, uh, and and seems pretty interesting. Then we also are closer. Like we can start with this tile, which is four yield, uh, although I don't often count the science as part of that. And then there's another kind of better tile that we're moving towards. Um, other than that, opening tile quality is actually pretty low here. We probably will need some builders and some tile improvements um, like that. Uh, the one downside here of like settling in, on either of these tiles is we won't be able to settle this sugar, which I generally like to do. Although, again, it's not surrounded by super positive tiles, productive tiles either. Um, so I really like the gypsum settle. The other thing about the gypsum settle that that uh, that I didn't mention yet is that it opens up like if we settle in place on the geothermal fissure, it's nice because you start getting the, the, the science for free. But it blocks the surrounding tiles for future campuses. Right. So like. If we put a city over here or even this one over here on the cattle like I'm thinking about, uh, we, we don't get the ability to put districts next to this city, right? So so moving away opens up this tile, the, the rice tile, and the stone tile. This shit popping? All for good morning, Chad. All for all for campuses. Uh good morning, Chris. How you doing, man? Thank you for the hundred bits. I appreciate it. Um, so that's another reason to move away. So that's what we're going to do here. We'll move over here, settle on the resource, and uh, get a strong city center, make a turn to settle across the river, and uh, and hope for, for, for some better land. There's there's serviceable land here, but it's not outstanding by any stretch of the imagination. Um, okay. Next turn. So uh, probably probably not really worth moving this warrior. Like we're not going to gain any more information before settling here. So we so we pretty much can just settle and see where we're at. Settle our city. We get a little error score for settling near the floodplains. There's my two two one base as I mentioned, um, and we have a tradable resource already in the gypsum to try to be friends or get some money. Now, <laughs> I miss being able to watch your streams all the time. Keep up the great content. Eminem, thank you for the 301. I appreciate you, and I miss you too, buddy. I'm sorry that I'm ignoring chat a little bit. I'm just trying to uh, barrel through the, the start of this game. Uh, I'll start paying a little bit more attention to you as we have uh, relevant discussions and uh, things to talk about. 
So the city wants me to work this one three tile growing in 14 turns. I actually disagree with that. I want to grow here in seven. And I also want the extra science for potentially the Machu Picchu rush. Uh, we have confirmed that you can you can both do the really good campus and then get to Machu Picchu. Uh, but you can also just probably like beeline it and potentially get it in this game as well. Um, is there, are there any considerations as far as what... Uh, what tiles we can improve as far as text going. If I get an early builder, this becomes a mine and this becomes a quarry. This is actually a really relevant boost for our Machu Picchu rush because we will want, want to build the walls for all the relevant Eurekas along the way. So there's something to consider for that um, and, and potentially like doing that whole thing. However, I'm probably just working this tile. We'll work that one next and we'll see where we're at. But yeah, that early builder is looking pretty good. Rice, stone, and a regular mine making two two tiles to go with our uh, city center here. I think we're going to need that pretty pretty bad, actually. Um, so yeah, so we'll work the science. We'll start with a scout per usual. We'll grow in seven. We'll get our scout in six. And then we'll see what we're up to next. Got to be able to remove certain features for a good campus. Yes, that is absolutely true. Four hills and one stone flat quarry isn't great for production. I totally agree. I totally agree. We're, we're definitely lacking production here. And it makes me not want to put a city here just because this is one of our few mines that our city can work. So not an outstanding start, but we'll see what we can do with it. I'm going to move towards this new continent. I want to settle this new continent for era score this era if I can. So that's why I'm heading, heading there with the uh, warrior. And again, I could go for the writing... I could just make that the campus and like still get the quarry and stuff. But I think I like the direct rush to Machu Picchu in most cases. So we'll start heading towards mining. So some more fresh water over here. That's making me feel good about this continent so far. Looks like a lake. Yeah. So being that there's a lake there, this might get us some interesting vision. Yeah, not too bad. And then we'll come back down a little bit. No uh, goody huts or anything yet. Okay. Continuing on. Hello, Hogue. Enjoy your lurking jerizy. There is a barb. Wow, Kumasi, two games in a row. One of the one of my most favorite city states to spawn next to. Particularly good with Congo. Uh, I mean, really good with anybody. I guess I don't. They're not particularly good with Congo. They're they're good with everybody. Kind of equally good. Um, but that's a that's an excellent source of culture that we can get two culture and one gold for each specialty district in the origin city to, to from trade routes that you send to city states. Uh, and that is a first meet, giving us extra uh, culture to go with our extra science that we're already doing. Uh, and then a military tradition quest, uh, which is actually quite doable. Mil military tradition being simply clear a bar outpost would I consider si skipping a second scout for a quick settler I'm not sure I'm not sure yet we'll, we'll we'll evaluate that in three turns yo Carl what's up buddy Jimmy James to which how you doing thought it was Jimmy James the Brooklyn 99 reference just Jimmy James that's okay Another fissure down here. Interesting. Does, it, does this city just go here? Maybe. Oh, it is Jimmy Jabs. Thank you. You're right, Irish. I, I didn't even. I didn't even get my own reference right. What the heck? Hi, Thalia. How you doing? Oh, come on. You're gonna block my tiles. Um. So I'm assuming the barb camp is down here. I would like to clear it. They're going to come help me most likely. I would also really like to see what's going over here as far as the land goes. But maybe that's what the second scout does. Yeah, I probably have to move towards this. Double mercury. Okay. Um... So this scout could go here. This is flat land and could be off and running that direction. I was thinking we want to go this way, but that makes my movement this turn here. And then the following turn either move over here, but then possibly cr cross the river. I almost like this more. <sighs> so 
so the question is, um, do we do we do we do another settler, or do we do another scout, or do we want to go immediately into uh, a settler in a turn here? In which in which case we could put like one turn into a monument or something. Um, I could also I could also see a builder uh, sneaking into my build order here. We have pretty low tile quality so far, although our first two are okay. But beyond that, it's pretty rough. State of the stream H Y Y Y Y Y P P P P P P P P P E E E E E less than three less than three. I happen to be off today as we are going to a Blackhawks game for Dude, my that's brother's awesome. 30th B day. So I can finally actually watch a full stream live after such a long time. Dude. Probably five months. Demorius. Much love to all. Lady Robot on form indeed. Thank you so much, Demorius. Welcome back for almost a full year. Happy birthday to your brother and enjoy that Hawks game. Man after my own heart. You know it. I, uh, I wish I was going to that game with you guys. That sounds awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And thank you so much for the long-term support. What about getting a builder here, you guys? Is that crazy? I don't have the mine yet. So like I'm almost done with mining. I could start working towards masonry, get that boost, have somebody get some early-ish ancient walls, hopefully find a mine to, to mine, uh, and then work our way up to engineering because this is pretty much our beeline goal. Normally, I'm su a super big fan of a second scout, but like, again, one of the ways, I've said this before, but one of the ways to sort of combat mediocre to middling uh, opening tiles, which is our situation here, is an early builder. Um, I'm just wondering if we work the tile, like if it works, if we wind up working these tiles or not. We could build the settler between pop two and three. I don't hate it. I think I'd rather work a 2-2 two -two than this, just so we kind of grow balanced. Mine over here, north of the cattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. There is some copper there. And down here, we could do the mercury. Yeah, okay. I think I like it. Here's what I like. One turn into the builder. Switch to a settler. Go settle the city. Finish the builder. By that time, we'll need the improved tiles. We can send the builder here. Improve the stone. Probably settle our second city over here. Buy out to the copper. Get that. Um, get that uh, first. Or get that Eureka, rather. I think I like that. When you find yourself... And then I think this is correct. Okay. Um, I mean, the tile quality, again, doesn't really matter. I'm happy working the science, as I mentioned earlier. Um, and then this is the next best tile I have, which is acceptable, especially while building this settler. Uh, I don't love that there isn't a second production on the geothermal, but it's fine. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No, give me the meat. Give me that first meat. Two double cultural city-states. That's so good. Probably probably finish my movement here. I can I can move to one of four tiles to cross the river versus this just gives me one. And if you put yourself in this type of situation, you might find that like barbs or city states and things like that uh, block you. So we'll finish our movement there. Can I talk about the notion of aversion to settling on floodplains as I contemplate the second city placement? Uh, I don't have too much an aversion of settling on floodplains. There's certainly a risk. Generally speaking, we play on disaster setting too, so the floods don't really uh, pummel us. But there's certainly a risk in doing so. Um, and, it, and it creates an interesting city design if you want, want to go for industrial zones and plan a dam. Um, but like over here, I'm I'm pretty thrilled to come settle this city next, even though it's on a floodplains. Uh, it'll give us extra food. I was looking at the uh, sugar settle, but that's just too far away from this copper, which I sort of desperately need. Um, if I'm going to do my whole plan, I guess I could settle next to this copper too. That's an interesting option. But yeah, I, I don't mind settling floodplains really. I, I get more nervous about settling underneath... Um, Volcanoes. 
Ugh, not a first meet, though. So we do find Nan. They want us to build a district. That's actually a pretty tough ask for us uh, in our opening sequence so far. Um, I guess I go meet whoever that is. Pedro? Can we get a pantheon? Yes, everybody gets a pantheon. They just can't found a, a, a proper religion. All right, so he's, okay, weird. Um, he's over here, what's he building there? What is that, what are you building? Great bath. He was in our last uh, Congo game and I believe I killed him last year. So do I wanna explore towards him? I guess. I know, he's kind of a jerk and he's gonna fight us on great people points like it. The reason I took him out last time is because it's like, uh, you know, it just he's, he's going to be too much competition for our culture win. I think we actually go towards him. What's this? Maybe we should kill him again this year. It's certainly an option. Go after foreign trade. I might even uh, prioritize Oracle here pretty early on. I'm also not getting this district for quite some time. So as far as Eureka's go, might make more sense to like uh, actually sort of beeline to drama and poetry. I wish we had an obvious early wonder to start on, but we don't. Basically, our our, our wonder is going to be uh, Machu. Looks like that's a city state. Could be. Probably. Tell him gypsum. Uh, it is turn ten. What would he give me for it? If I could click things properly, that's pretty decent, actually. I could take the raw gold too. I am gonna buy some tiles. I could. I could definitely. I'd be interested in buying another scout here, actually. I don't have to buy that scout immediately, but if I do it this way, I get the I get the scout much much quicker. Oh boy. How much are you willing to give me even? Hmm. So exactly the 60. Take the golden buy a builder. I'm fine building the builder. I'd rather get the scout and start exploring. I think this is fine. It's definitely worse off overall. Like the overall deal was what, 94? This is 60. This is better. Because buying it now, like the scout, that scout can easily turn into 30 gold for us. So I think this is better. The other thing you could do is like save and buy a warrior. That could actually be a little bit more uh, conservative, but I really want the scout. And then because we have two, we can run survey, although we are trying to find some barbs to kill uh, with our warrior. Seems like he'll have help for it anyways. Uh, and then God King, yeah. Looking for a Pantheon. Wish I could find a Relic. Haven't even found a, a Goody Hut yet, sadly. Petra? Petra intensifies? Wait, we do we? Oh wow, we found our th third continent. Okay, sweet. I'm cool with that. Yeah, he's a bully. He's a big old bully. Hey, maybe that's our relic. Oh, somebody else right over there too. Holy cow. Oh boy. Faith from mines. So if you want to go faith from mines, I mean, four, five, six, seven mines. 
That's an interesting consideration for sure. Time to circle back with the warrior. I want the warrior to fill out this land a little bit. I don't think he's so far away that like we're going to be in trouble. And this just gives me uh, a lot of intel for uh, settling cities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yes, we're on the same page, Myth Mythrock. Not a relic. Oh, all right. Well, earlier when I said I, that I get nervous about settling under volcanoes, um, that's true, but sometimes doing things that, that make you nervous is like the only way to really grow as a human um, and like spiritually and stuff. And so we're probably going to do it because <laughs> that's that's thank starting to look community. like a real nice Petra. Mephistopheles, thank you so much for the 23 months, dude. Absolutely. Thank you for being a part of it. So happy to have you here. And thank you for the almost two years. That's insane. Much appreciate. Y'all making Carl happy suggesting non-Earth goddess pantheons? So that's probably one of his cities. Hey! I want this. Please? Give me. Rude. Oh, gosh. All right. So who is that then? Is that Persia? With like an alternate skin? Is that inverted Persia? Oh, boy. Or Sparta. Oh, it could be Sparta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be Sparta. It's, it's hard to guess anymore just because of the uh, jerseys. But yeah, it looks like Greece, actually. I don't even really want to meet him. I want to find Goody Huts. Wow. Nice city in here. Pretty aggressive. Send a trade route to Geneva. Geneva is another nice city state to have. No, you don't get XP on your scouts for finding civs. That is not a thing. And I just don't want to let him know where I am yet, you know? I'd rather try to sneak off and find some uh, goody huts. I guess I'm crossing here. Okay. Some nice land there to our east. Am I still having Comcast issues? And so do I want a couple tips in dealing with them? Uh, I, 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 yes, I will forever have Comcast issues, most likely. Uh, I am still fighting them often. Uh, and sure, you can give me some tips. <laughs> Why not? I never get to clear this with these guys. This I want. Ah, boo. All right. That's fine. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I, there was really no chance that I was going to get that. So another city state down there. It's looking like another quality settle. Three, actually four really good starting tiles, extra food, um, and then hopefully sneak something in between. Comcast level deity. <laughs> Volcanic, vol volcanic Petra with a plus four campus. Yeah, no doubt. Obviously a bit of a mistake there. Every nation lives. All right, so we need our barb strength here to clear this camp. I'll keep our faith going for that. But that should work. Gives us our uh, 
Kumasi tile expand. They did grab the salt, which is definitely a, a tile that we would be competitive on. Uh, so that's a bit of a bummer. Oh, nice, Nanya. Good call. Thanks. Hello, Slim. <laughs> um, a network monitor monitoring tip ticket. Oh, okay. That's a that's a thing I didn't know about. That'll get you in the escalated queue. Awesome. I'm liking these tips. Thanks, Nanya. Appreciate it. Hello, Lamb Holy. Oh, well, that's awkward. Fought with them last year and won. Nice chai. That that makes me happy hearing that more than anything. That's good to hear. Thank you for the tips, my friend. Hmm. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Some really nice uh, fissures. <laughs> yeah, I know, doodly. <laughs> All right, heading back around. Some really nice city states so far. I'll take it. We could we can get that early Kumasi Suzer, and that could be era score if we're looking for it. Not sure how much we need that golden age. It depends if we get a faith pantheon or not. Hey, Calgos, how you doing? Just about your first game of the year? Oh, wow. Trying the new expansion? Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, if you need anything, let us know. Good to see you again. Hope all is well in your world. So this is Eureka we're getting. There's no sense in overtaking this. Pedro got the great bath. So I don't get era score. This is not a new continent, but it's really it's a city that I think I need and 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 is is pretty good for us. Uh, the other thing we could do is come and try to settle this rice, uh, but we give up our mine bonus. Wow, Babylon as well. Archery, send trade route, galley. Hmm. <laughs> I think I want this city still, right? Or do we need to be more aggressive? I really liked our uh, beeline Machu Picchu plan. It looks amazing on our map, actually. That just like this area plus like this little bit seems like it could be really good. Plus a city or, or two over here. Yeah, I like this still. This is going to be our plan. Now we'll finish the builder, working this. Good, good, good. That's pretty much a boo. No relics for us. I figured that that was his city. Coast. Okay. Hi, Sapion. How you doing? Thought killing Pedro gives me a relic. I know, but it doesn't give me a relic until way later in the game. And at that point, the relic kind of doesn't matter. I think there's an equal chance of getting everything daily. It's just that there are a lot of rewards. Ooh, it's spicy. It's spicy over there. Um, We're fine. I might need to buy a slinger in this city.
Hey, Saltist. How you doing, bud? to buy that soon. Hmm. No wonder there's no relics so far. Do I have the sling? No, I don't have flight sling slingulator yet, sadly. I think this is my ancient walls city if I can get it in time, but I probably can't, so it'll be interesting. Hmm. Do I exclusively stream Civ 6? Uh, pretty much. Um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, Mikey, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. We're gonna have a whole discussion about the whole the channel and what we're up to with it um, later today, though. My man. It's this holy site there. It's not bad. Uh, and OG Emmer, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Appreciate the uh, follow. So this, this. Okay. So we move an attack here. This is the safest attack for us to make. Uh, we can certainly get re-attacked across the river, but this guy has to move in order to come and threaten us, and we can just hide back in the city center. Now, this is not my capital, so the barbs can raise it, and we need to be a little bit careful. Um, but yeah. There's an achievement for a 30 pop Congo cap. Yeah, we've done it. Awesome, Shred. As I mentioned, we do this, farm some XP, take our garrison promotion, and should be able to clear. Should be able to clear this okay. We have uh, extra combat strength against barbs in, so. Uh, I'll bring my warrior to see if we can do anything here. Okay, there's our masonry. So let's finish that. These are the two tiles I would like to work. And now what? Three turns on an early empire. Can squeeze out a unit. actually better i don't think we die on the counter attack and we do get our promotion so we can retreat and promote in the same turn um and that way if they keep coming at me we're going to be in good shape yeah i was thinking about the trader the problem with the trader is it's likely to get plundered um we've got barbs running around everywhere so even if we like tried it like i can't send it to babylon i don't have access to their city so it'd either be an internal trader which is only so valuable or like down to kumasi which is pretty likely to get pillaged on the way i think So I don't really like that. Save is purple and blue. I think that this is Gorgo. Yep, Greece. You can see. Now that now that we can mouse over one of their tiles. No daily skirmisher, that's not, but we should re we should do that at some point. Loch Ness Joe Goth, welcome back for 15 months. Thank you so much for the ongoing support. I appreciate it very, very much. It's thinking about a sec second warrior or a settler. Restart? Why? This is fun. This is good so far. It's a close Gorgo. It is. Three gens of your family planted 100. Wow, that's awesome. Planted, planted 100 trees. That's really cool. I'm gonna get another slinger, I think.
I just want to be able to deal with all this stuff. And a future archer could help us defend against them or whatever. We had a fun time with Eleanor recently on one of our Let's Plays. So Costi over here. Wow, he's got some nice tiles, though. That silk, that truffles. Interesting. So as I said, we get our promotion. We get to pop back into the city center and take garrison, which will give us 10 extra combat strength while uh, in the city center. So that's good. I do need to get over here and uh, improve this tile. Now, I'm a little bit worried about these barbs chasing me. I could also delay that. Let's see what this barb does. It can't take me this turn, and we can always retreat. He's got another settler doing something. All right, so let's watch what happens here. So we get a an envoy in Babylon giving us even more science to help us get to Machu Picchu, uh, which is fantastic. So even if we wind up having to like hard tech engineering, maybe it's interesting. Oh, hi. We'll take that kill. Oh, hi, Persia. <laughs> I told you guys it was Persia. Oh, God, he's down here. It is. It's yeah, it's Persia and Greece. OK, you guys, you guys are right. And uh, I was I was, you know, I stumbled into being right. Which is usually how I do it. Really? You won't let me have this? Fine. We're denounced with him, so I can't really do much. That's lame. Yeah, we have to buy the copper. We'll probably go to the second one. All right, well, this is a spicy one, that's for sure. So we need to leave barb strength in. And yes, I could use another unit up here. I'm working on it. Game Freak, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime sub. Welcome on in. Welcome into the shop, my friend. I appreciate it. It's a scary game, yeah, so far. So far, we have walls unlocked, so. So mysticism, I could, I could, I'm nowhere near a golden right now. So Kumasi grabs this mercury next. Could be okay. Yeah, so far, so far we haven't had any issues. No, no, no stream issues so far. Daniel, thank you so much for the eight months. Good luck with your barbs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, welcome, welcome back. Welcome back for eight months. I appreciate it. Um, so we'll take our Alpine promotion. Basically bring this scout down and then back through here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that many cities. Magnus and chop out ancient walls. It's an interesting line. I'm just not super, I'm, I'm not super convinced that I need uh, help here. <laughs> he said famous last words, Ingley. Uh, yeah, I, I almost don't, I, I, I think that basically what's going to happen is this slinger is going to like move out and jebate these barbs towards it and that we're going to be able to kind of like cheese our way into safety.
That being said, what do we want? I mean, Magnus still makes sense from the sense of, like, we're probably going to want to chop out Machu Picchu, I think. Fable, thank you for the 18 months of that Prime sub. Welcome back to the shop, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Game feels like you'll be getting good value from your unique unit. It certainly could be. Yeah, I mean, I'm on the right side of the tree so far, even though we have a fantastic campus that I'd love to go unlock um, and get. But we're, we're, we're going to need some help to defend. We have some real nasty neighbors. Uh, Deptorino, thank you so much for the brand new sub as well. Holy cow. Hype train indeed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all the support. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I think Magnus is fine. This stone gets cleared anyways. So often I try to <laughs> click next when I play. Yeah, I know. I do that to people's streams too. I think it is Magnus here. You would have skipped your turn without uh, checking your government or uh, appointing a governor. Definitely need barb strength. We're not quite to our pantheon yet. So, sure. So that timed out beautifully. And then basically all we need to do is get these ancient walls. Get out of there. Mythrock! <laughs> Thank you for the 208. You trying to troll my videos there, buddy? We turned it off. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Yeah, this needs iron now, right? But it's only five. And again, it's not a very good offensive unit, if you ask me. So it makes it a little bit awkward. Got a camp that we definitely need to clear. All right, now what? I could get my walls here. It's not the worst idea for our cap to have walls here. Turned off the 208 sad day. I know. Well, it, it, it mutes my uh, VODs and stuff. It mutes my my YouTube videos and Ripped things. Golf courses. <laughs> Nanya, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. I think it is walls here. It's about to get another city. Do you do need to deal with that? I could go for a warrior first, but I'll bet you anything Kumasi deals with that way faster than I can get to it. I'm just exploring with this builder. So why Machu Rush? Because Machu is amazing and particularly good with uh, Congo, who who has an incentive to get theater squares, but doesn't necessarily have to have like really um, doesn't necessarily get strong theater squares. So, and yeah, look at the mountains. I don't think so, Chimera. Maybe I can snag this. I'm not getting a Golden Age here, like at all. This mountain range, though, I'd love to take them over. Yeah, am I even getting a goal, uh, normal age is a great question. Not sure. We'll find out. Yeah, Dark Age would definitely kill our loyalty. We don't have a ton of food, although we could work on that. Like, I can get a ton of food. Yeah, we can meet Greece for the plus one. I can suzerain for, for the plus two. If I can clear this camp, 
We'll get a normal. Okay. So there you go. That's going to be our first video of the day. Uh, it's going it's, pre it's going pretty okay, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, we're, 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 doing, we're doing stuff and things. It's certainly interesting. We'll have to make some... Uh, we'll probably have to play pretty tight and uh, make, make tough choices, make good choices, and uh, probably not get a ton of cities, frankly. Uh, I really want to get that. Like one, two, three... Uh, Petra for four and then like maybe one down here. I think we could maybe just do like six cities. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyways, if you're watching over on YouTube, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic. Come say hi to us in person on the internet. Look, look forward to seeing you there.